But before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and post So for today's video, let's talk about the common mental health issues that are prominent during pandemic. Story time! Let me share to you the story of the three best friends who experiences different mental health issues during the pandemic. Oh, it's so boring at home. I don't know what to do. Same here. There's nothing much to do here other than eat, sleep, or watch Netflix. I really miss you guys. Guys, I need to go. It's already late. Okay, good night. Good night. After their video call, they all went to bed. The first girl is having a hard time to sleep and is feeling lonely. The second girl is feeling sad and helpless. The third girl is having deep thoughts about harming herself. These three girls are having different problems, but they all lie in the same topic, which is mental health issues. To learn more about these issues, just keep on watching. The first girl is experiencing an ease and unable to sleep. These are some of the symptoms of stress. Stress can come from any mental health that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Other symptoms include dizziness, anger, loneliness, and other emotional health problems. People who are experiencing stress tend to eat more or less, sleep too much or too little, procrastinating, and using alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs to relax. The second girl, on the other hand, is feeling like this and is helpless. She experiences anxiety. Stress and anxiety isn't that much of a difference. Anxiety is your body's natural response to stress. It's a feeling of fear or apprehension about what's to come. Other symptoms of anxiety are confusion, on edge, and repeated negative thoughts. They also experience palpitations and difficulty in breathing. Lastly, the third girl is having deep thoughts, specifically suicidal thoughts. Suicidal thought is thinking about, considering, or planning suicide. Its symptoms include talking about feeling hopeless, exhibiting reckless behaviors, avoiding social interactions, and expressing rage. It is often caused by depression, traumatic events, and other mental disorders. But why did they become prominent this quarantine? The COVID-19 pandemic and its related containment measures, mainly physical distancing and isolation, are having detrimental consequences on the mental health of the general population worldwide. In particular, it represents well-known risk factors for several mental disorders, including anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorders. Let me share to you some tips and tips to improve your mental health. First, take a time out. Stepping back from your problem helps you clear your head. Second, eat well-balanced diet meals. Limit alcohol and caffeine which can aggravate anxiety and trigger panic attacks. Third, get enough sleep. When you're stressed, your body needs more sleep and rest. Accept that you cannot control everything. Put your stress into a perspective. Is it really as bad as you think? Maintain a positive attitude and make an effort to replace your negative thoughts with positive ones. Create a support system and learn what triggers your anxiety. Is it work, family, school, or something else you can identify? Write it in a journal when you're feeling stressed or anxious and look for a pattern. Talk to someone, tell friends and family you're feeling overwhelmed and let them know how you can help them. Talk to a physician or therapist for professional help. And that's it for our Tita Tips! Kumilos at tumintig laban sa COVID-19. 